you fire, we surrender. We surrender. Please, we're all hurt. Bad. I can barely walk. We won't interfere or try to stop you. I swear it. We'll just we'll, we'll walk out the door and never come back. Just please let us live. You can go. As long as you don't cause trouble. Understood? Really? You mean it? Thank you. Thank you. You're an honorable soldier. We appreciate it. There's a lot more shooting to be done. Keep your heads down and move out. We'll do that. Thanks again. Soldier? How did you get in here? In the name of the Galactic Republic, I order you to surrender. Go ahead. Take me in. Torture me. I'll reveal nothing. The glorious Separatist movement will never submit to your decadent so-called Republic. Hmm. No bomb. That's right. We're three steps ahead of you. Three hundred steps ahead. The Separatist movement is an unstoppable force, driven by the will of the people. Enough. Kill him? I'll follow your lead, Riz. The glorious! You don't... You don't scare me! I... Wait! Wait! The bomb! They moved it! They... They moved it! My Commander Keen, he... We took the bomb down to the coast and loaded it onto a sea speeder. I don't know where it was taken after that. Extensive security. Why? It's because, well, Safro, Viru, and Bol are here. Three of our greatest heroes who led us in our glorious... <laughs> they're, uh, they're officers, cell commanders. They run operations in different parts of Avila Town. They're having a conference, relocating men to different cells. They're... They're dead, Sergeant. I'll take care of them, sir. Saffron, Varu, and Bull are priority one targets, Sergeant. And recovering their data on separatist cell locations and manpower is too good an opportunity to pass up. That data will be critical to learning the bomb's movements before it's too late. You have your orders. Get the data. Kill the officers. Go. I heard blaster fire. I think we've been compromised. There, intruder. Ball, call for backup now. In the name of the Galactic Republic, I order you to surrender. Safro, wipe the data. We can't let it fall into enemy hands. He's just one man. Kill him. <laughs>
Stay back, Republic scum. Stay back or I'll shoot. I don't want to fight. I was hired by a couple to find their son, Paul. You know him? No one here by that name. No one here with parents. The Separatists are our family, and war is our mother. I am Bone Crusher, and my men are loyal to the death. We eat Republic lackeys like you for dinner, so stay back unless you want to become our next meal. It's funny. You look just like your mother described. Shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll rip you to... Uh... No! No! No more! No more killing! No more blood! Please! I'm sorry! I'm Paul! I'm the one you're looking for! Please don't... Don't... Don't kill me! What happened to you? I'm sorry. They want us to forget who we are. Where we came from. Please, it's... It's the stims. The separatists pump us full of the stuff, and we stop thinking. We just want to kill everything. We were taken years ago. Fifteen of us. I was thirteen. The others were younger. The Separatists gave us stems and blasters and told us to kill. We couldn't resist. They would have killed us. So we took the stems and... and we didn't have to think. We could just shoot and... You don't have to say anymore. Thank you. I thought about running but didn't have anywhere to go. It costs a lot of money to get off planet, and the Separatists don't pay us. I can't go back to my family. How could I face them after all I've done? If I just had a few credits, I could leave this damn planet. I could start over. Please, can you help me? I hope this is enough to get you off planet. I don't know how else to help you. It's... it's plenty. But you're... you're giving me credits? I... I, I don't know what to say. I can finally leave. Thank you. Take this. So my mother will know I'm okay. Tell my parents I've escaped Ord Mantell. I can handle it. Thank you. Thank you again for the credits. I'm gonna wait until the stims wear off, until I'm sure I won't hurt anyone. Then I'll make my break for it. You've saved my life. I owe you everything. Watch out! You're getting in my light! The lighting is essential to selling the message of urgency, you know? I've come to get you out of here. What do you mean? Why would I need... No! You're from the Republic, aren't you? Come to kill me for my noble work. Well, you're not going to succeed. There's no way I'm giving up my footage of the glorious uprising. Amala may be willing to hide the Republic's warmongering, but I'm not. I'm with the Separatists now. Do you still have the recordings? Of course I do. That's what it's all about. I've re-edited those hollows to show the plight of the Separatists and their families. So you go back to Lamala and tell her she can find another Patsy to do her work. I've seen the light. I'll tell her you've changed sides. Good. Pass the message along, Republic lapdog. Glory to the revolution!
Look, I see your face and I know what you're gonna say, so don't even bother. Wax is with the Separatists, right? Or he was adopted by a Separatist family, or he's training in firearms, or some other blasted stupid thing, am I right? He's gone completely native. He's just that type of kid, isn't he? On Tatooine, he went to live with the Jawas for three months, thought they were his spiritual kin. One day, he'll realize that the Separatists are just as immoral as everyone else. And hopefully by then, he'll have some fantastic footage. In the meantime, I'll get a new holo recorder sent out here and gather what I can. Here's a little something for your time and effort. Stay safe out there. If you get yourself shot, I'll do a story on you. Quite the light show out there. I'm impressed. I'd say you've earned your pay today. Tell me you found him. Tell me you found our son. Calm down, Ellis. Let the stranger breathe. Will you please tell my wife that our son is dead and have done with it? He left Lord Mantel, and he wanted me to give you this. Oh, it's the ring I gave him when he was little. He gave you this so I know he was okay. He was always so thoughtful. I wonder why he left Lord Mantel. Oh, Alice, it's probably better if we didn't know. Don't you worry about her. She needs time. Here are the credits my wife promised in her frenzy. Thank you for your help. No problem. Thank you anyway. this? Where's the doctor? He's taking care of about 20 orphans. What is this? The doctor needs... Has he gone insane? This is an awfully tall order. Judging by what he's written here, soft-hearted Jayan has found every single orphan on that island to take care of. Figures. You saw the situation. What do you think? Can we really get the doctor and the kids out of there, or should we just focus on the doctor himself? Those children need help. Rescue them and the doctor. You're right. The vision is death. We'll get those kids. You better believe we'll get those kids. Good work finding the doctor. You can take your pay and go now. We'll handle it from here. Again, good work. I'll do my best to serve. Of course. Don't we all? Yes, sir. Duty is most important. Well, I have work to do. Children to save. Keep fighting the good fight. squad to learn from a veteran. Stay sharp out there.
in charge of communications? I found a relay at a Separatist safe house. They were tapping your signals. Blast. I thought we put a stop to that a month ago. I'll red flag all recent transmissions. Make sure nothing major leaked. I owe you one. Sergeant, you've returned. Well, masterful work eliminating the Separatist officers. The beast has been beheaded. I'll get the officer's data out to the rest of Havoc right away. As for you, Lieutenant Doran here has a special op already planned out. Earlier today, a man named Zack came to the fort from Oradam Village seeking medical attention. Zack was suffering from acute radiation poisoning, causing catastrophic organ failures. His body was practically tearing itself apart from within. Quite magnificent to observe. Is it normal for villagers to get radiation poisoning, sir? Not at all. As a day laborer, Zack performs pointless menial tasks that would never involve any kind of radiation exposure. On the other hand, Fuse told us that the ZR-57 can leak significant amounts of radiation if handled improperly. Zack must have been near the ZR-57, knowingly or otherwise. I want the details, even if you must pry them from his dying husk of a mind. Understood, sir. The medics who treated Zack weren't equipped to cure his condition. Most of their supplies have been stolen by scavengers. However, if you were to retrieve the necessary ingredients to treat Zack's affliction, I think you would find the offer of a cure very useful in gaining his cooperation. Given that Zack's current medications can promise only a lifetime of excruciating pain, the potential for a full recovery should be an excellent motivator. Command knows exactly where the scavengers are. We just haven't had the resources to deal with them. Here are the coordinates and a list of ingredients to retrieve. Any questions? Hit the scavenger camp. Retrieve the ingredients and cure Zack's radiation poison. Understood. Once you've got the cure collected, you'll confront Zack at his home in Ordam Village and question him about the ZR-57. Nothing fancy on this, Sergeant. Just get the ingredients, get the intel from Zack, and then get back. Dismissed. Sending out new tactics all the time. Stay sharp out there. is in terrible danger. Take it easy. Now, what's going on? My mistress and I were on assignment for the Republic Corps of Engineers at Fort Garnick. Our team was sent to repair a malfunctioning power generator. We were attacked by armed men. Separatists, I think. I only got away because they didn't consider me a threat. My mistress is still up there. I fear for her life. Please, you must rescue her. I'll head there immediately. Fight the Maker. She's hiding near the power generator at the top of the ridge. Please, hurry. Thank you. 
had sent me. I'm here to rescue you. Where were you when those savages were slaughtering my co-workers? Forget it. I've got bigger problems right now. I was sent here to complete a mission, and that's exactly what I'm going to do. Ugh. Can't do this without tools. This generator supplies power to Fort Garnick. It's been sabotaged. It overheats in the fort's defenses, the infirmary. They'll all go down. People are gonna die. I'd be happy to volunteer. Our equipment was scattered in the attack. I can hold the generator steady, but I need my tools. And the liquid coolant to fix it. I'll try to find them for you. Move fast. We don't have a lot of time. Fantastic. The temperature's already dropping. We'll be at full power in a few minutes. You did a good thing. Thank you. Happy to pitch in. You deserve something for your trouble. Thanks again. What's this then? Another wower looking to make a little scratch on the side, I'll bet. What'll it be then? Running or betting? What's going on here? What, you don't know? This is the most spectacular, fantastic, other superlatives included, fun for all ages event of your lifetime, friend. Ignore this moron. He thinks he's clever. Lucky for him he's so handsome or he'd be no use at all. We've got a little obstacle course here. You can run the course or you can bet on other runners. Mostly the refugees run, but you're welcome to play, too. Call this an obstacle course? Well, an obstacle's no fun if it doesn't have a little kick. Look, these poor sods have nothing, and we don't have enough supplies for even half of them. 
So we let them gamble. The credits help pay for more supplies, and when one of the refugees gets lucky, they get enough gear to really help them out. I don't imagine you get a lot of people running this course twice. Not everyone who loses dies. Yeah, some of them are just really, really injured. We even have some veterans who keep coming back for more. Anyway, you want to bet or run the course, just see Ensign Peters. He'll get you set up. Your conduct is disgusting. Wait until your superiors hear about this. <laughs> oh, yeah. Go tattle all you want. I'm sure that drunk ethics officer at Fort Guernick is gonna care. Drake, shut up. What? Oh, yeah. Uh, never mind. Forget about that.